Carter Q Terminals Classic 2021. Quarterfinal match. Show and making of trains to serve. Mazem Hesham of Egypt to receive. It's the best of five games. Bravo. Two months ago, it was a 12 10 in the fifth. Unbelievable. Titanic struggle, which Macon was already starting to feel worse for wear in that period where he'd won the Nationals and then was running on empty. But nobody can run on empty better than Joel Macon. And there is the hold. That hold Joel Macon's going to be seeing a lot of. He's just got to try to make sure that he reduces the amount of time that Hesham has to expose him with it. Kind of stop-start rhythm that Macon, uh, Hesh, I'm sorry, will be very, very happy to employ. He just waits for a couple of people just to sit down in the front row. Well, he's going to make it as random as possible. He has to, to break any type of rhythm or structure that Joel Makin will look to try to promote. So tactically, very sound at the moment from this hugely unorthodox black fox. <laughs> you can really see the ball, though, can't you? Well, you really can't see the ball, but you can see what the stencil link's done on the ball, Johnny. Yeah, there's that cross drop. We're seeing that being used quite a bit. It's very much, much harder to see it. We've got that darkish shade over it now. I don't know whether or not Joel Macon was hoping that m m the Black Falcon might struggle to swoop on it then. Let's have a look at this again here. Is he in his swing? Yeah, on the uh, back swing there, he just clipped him. Macon's gone too short. Joey. I think he's got to hit through this short play from Hesham and he's getting sucked in a little bit. He's caught a little bit in two minds that he feels compelled to use the drops, but that's better. Just to send it back, threaten, and then send it back. It's not, not high enough quality, though. Goodness gracious me. He is... Attacking at will here. Hesham just viewing everything as uh, an option to go short.
Oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. Six, Continues three. to go for that boast, but this one just floating out of the neck. I think the Joe making he's missing opportunities to just keep pressure on with the volley. Now take it deep. He's got to he's got to take away angles and, and play his own natural game, which is enough to cause huge issues for the Black Falcon. But at the moment, again, he's just not hitting through the ball. He got away with that one as Mezen bites his shirt. This is this is quite a. Um, I didn't expect to see the Golden Tiger so off the pace here a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I, he would be on it hunting and, and, and looking sharp on the tee, hitting through that ball, getting the ball warm. And he, he doesn't seem to be his usual self out there at the moment. No, he's been, he looks like he's been uh, delivered quite a blow early on. I don't think he, well, he would have expected this barrage of short play but it's in a, in a way it's so random like you say and using so many different angles the bows the cross drop just struggling to sort of take it all in and deal with it that's better he's got to find that that's the length it's got to be dying away Five, seven. and not coming off the back wall anymore So just a couple of errors and uh, Six, seven. things tighten up. So all of the good work undone. We're back to even Stevens here at 7 all, making just being allowed to take a bit of a breather to take it all in as well as the ball comes back into the court. Yeah, they struggled to find it, didn't they? I still doing the colour of it. I'd like to see him putting a bit more, injecting a bit more fire in his hitting, Joey, as well. I still think he's not putting, not putting enough of an effort to put tempo in, and that's left loose. It's a very strange call for him, Thomas, back to very early call, really, I would say. I mean, you know, this is probably, to me, a standard ball that pops in the nick and pops, you know, pops out. I mean, that, he, he looked like he got it on the first bounce. Yeah, he's fine. It's good. Ball was good. We play left, making seven all from the left. Eight. 
and that's just the tonic that Macon needs for his confidence. The first real opportunity he has to step into it, and he carves it nicely into the neck. Good serve as well at the body with no pace, making it awkward for the Falcon. So he's starting to perk up now, the Golden Tiger. Follows it up with a wonderful deft drop shot here. Nine, seven. Difficult because he knows that Hesham is steam breathing down his neck as he plays it. Well, he loves that shot, and if you leave the ball around there, there is a danger that he's going to pop it into the Knicks. The second one he's done in this in this first game from the forehand boast. And it's interesting here, he's still laying off the volley a little bit, Joel making. Working rally, making just gritting his teeth and doing it just a little bit short on those cross courts. He was, he would definitely like to see them go a bit deeper. Two game balls this first game. The Welsh number one, one eradicated immediately off the serve. And out, nine, ten, game ball. It's also the second time that Hesham has pulled it into the nick off the sideball there, backhand return of service, making. Use that uh, serve to the body a little bit more, I reckon. Well, John Makin, not quite finding his marks, but doing enough. Helped along by the very hefty error count from Mezen Hesham. Skying that one out of court. 13 minutes between these two in this second quarter final. And it's the number eight seed that leads by one game to love. Yeah, this was all about the Black Falcon early on. He was using that vast array of attacking skills that he has. And uh, he couldn't miss anything he tried, whether it was a cross drop, Nick Boast, this one the best of them all, just flat rolling out. Macon, being the, that hard-nosed competitor that he is, though, he just found a way to work his way into the game. Real lesson for all youngsters out there. He never let anything bother him. He wasn't deterred. He just kept soldiering on, found a bit better length, a bit sharper with his shots. Sure, when he gets a bit of time here to think about it, he might want to try to inject even a bit more fire at the start of this game.